Hello. This is Victoria Tuma, corner of the indigenous people of the Baltic Sea region. This is our lovely, lovely God's room in Yurto, in Sweden. In the middle of Scandinavian wild nature, close to Stockholm. It is hard times in Scandinavia, as in the whole Baltic Sea region. But we, the indigenous people, are gathering now together to become strong and united to save Mother Earth and to put into power the divine laws of nature. I wanted to inform you about the last events that have been going on here. This is just before the second English conference on criminalizing nuclear war systems that will start on the 1st of June until 7th of June 2016. 10,000 we add to the Gregorian calendar for the time we, the indigenous people, have been living here in the Baltic Sea region. So there will be a conference on criminalizing nuclear war systems. And I have been putting myself into the eye of the hurricane to examine these criminal systems by experiencing our indigenous way of work. That is, work that is not paid work, but is a gift economy. That is how our elders the previous generations of indigenous people have been living here in the gift economy, working for their families and their kings. And now we are re-establishing this order. And we have this wonderful United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People that supports this. Just in time, it was agreed to put these laws into order on the 13th of September, 2007. And to examine these laws and to make them real here in Sweden, for example, I stopped paying for this apartment where we praise the gods of the Baltic Sea region. This room in your room, I stopped paying for in the European money. Because I, as the priestess of indigenous, have the right to have basic means through social and economical systems of my predecessors. And now I'm going through court and also through the unemployment systems for them to re-establish the way they 
manage work. To establish work market where indigenous people can work for their families within areas of work that were historically used by their families. And also to adjust these historical ways to our modern way. And uh, this means a lot of communication with social services, with ministries, with this also very specific for Sweden, there is a parliament of indigenous Sama people, Samis, which is called Samating. You can find it on samatini.se. And this is also about that indigenous people should have the salary of indigenous paid by the state. As it is social security established for indigenous people in the United States and also in Australia and I guess somewhere more else. So my work now is focused on achieving that for Baltic Sea region people. To establish areas where indigenous people can live by the laws of indigenous people. And peacefully raise their families. When I went through the court and almost lost this apartment in Jordan, I also discovered that the court could not approach this issue. They said that they could not approach it. That is one discovery that I made recently. And that decision was made on the 17th of April this month. Uh, sorry, 17th of May this month, 2016. And um, furthermore, it is a fact that in Sweden you have to apply to the work markets needs of the market of work that is established, which is a lot corporations. Corporations need workers. And you have to go and do work to get money. As you know, Sweden is per capita the biggest producer of weapons in the world. So there are extremely many industries that produce weapons. So the Third World War is a lot produced here in Sweden. And people who work in these companies all have money to pay for their apartments and to live their lives and to raise their children. The people who say, no, we live by the laws of gods, of peace, love and understanding of our predecessors, they are chased here by social services and can be very easily thrown out of their apartments if they don't supply to the market of work that is actually a war-producing work market. Furthermore, 
in Sweden, the four main banks, SEB, Swed Bank, Hansa Bank and Nordea Bank, are all involved in financing nuclear weapons, which you can find on the site don'tbankonthebomb.com. And of course, these banks are a lot now producing working places. And furthermore, they have taken over also Baltic states. It may seem that this is the time of independence for Baltic states, as they plead in their media. But how can be it be so? if there is not one national bank left in Latvia, for example, and all these banks are foreign. So generally, this is a time of uh, where a third world war has indirectly already started. And to stop that war, we need to get back to the laws of our predecessors, to our nature, and to indigenous rights. In the whole Baltic Sea region, there is not one church where indigenous gods are prayed. This is the time, truly, where there is no religious freedom. And we have to change that. And I truly believe that this is the time of change, where we will turn our hearts to the higher forces and create the systems of love. We will put them into power and our indigenous gods and goddesses will be with us. Let it be so. Because it's in our heart consciousness that the line of communication lies. And as long as we love true heartedly and our conscience is clear, we will succeed and we will establish the era of love, peace and understanding. Let it be so. Yes.